Hi guys, welcome to Filament PHP series and in this episode we are going to cover how to use wizard form in uh, filament php application so in some time when you have a like large form then you need to divide in step by step for example if you have a products creation page and in the first step you can put the basic information in the next step you can add pricing and stock in the third step maybe you can add media and status something like that way you can divide your form so let's see how you can do in filament php so let me go to my uh, vs code editor and you can see that in our previous application i have created a tables let me go here database migration and you can see that i have created already product with name sku description price stock image is active and is features uh, column okay so this is very basic table i have created so we can demo it quickly and also i have created a model for it and what we will do in this example we will add first step with these three uh, parameters okay and then the next step we will asking for price and stock and in the third step we are going to ask for image upload and uh, checked active and uh, featured as well okay so let's get started and let me go to my terminal and let's create the resource first let me clear this and php artisan mac filament resource and for the product so hit enter and it is asking for uh, attribute name so we have a product name column so hit enter it is also asking for do you want to create read only page view page i will say yes because later we will use for example so i will just say yes and then they are asking for auto generated column from database no and you can see that they have created product resource folder in our application so let me go to the vs code editor and let me close this and you can see over here they have created and let me go and click you can see that product form now let's run our application so just composer run dev let me go back to the browser and just hit refresh you can see that there is a new column uh, added on the sidebar there is called products if i click on it you can see there right now we have an empty page so what we are going to do here we are going to add wizard uh, form okay so what you you need to do just let me go here and filament php provide wizard class and you can do it easily like this and as a array argument you need to pass all these step over here like this way step one mac and here as an argument you need to pass the name of the uh, title so i will just call uh, like uh, product info for the first step and then i'm going to just use the schema okay and schema as an error argument and you just need to write the text input colon colon mac and i will just call name okay just save it and let's see how the design looks okay let me go here and hit refresh you can see that now now we have a first step that's called product info and with the name okay let me go back and let me add another column and that's call for sku just save it same way i'm going to add for description so i'm going to use markdown editor colon colon mac and then description just save it let me go back over here and hit refresh you can see that there is a design with name sku in the first step okay but you can see over here that's only just 50 percent width they are using so what i'm going to do just let me go back over here and i'm going to add colon span full and just save it and let me go back hit refresh you can see that now it's a full width but you can see that name is also 100% sk is also 100% so it not, not looks good so in my previous video i already show how to use the group so i'm going to just use group like this way mac schema and as an array argument i'm going to just put this to column and make it proper spacing and add the semicolon over here and here i'm going to add the columns that will be two. just save it let me go back over here and hit refresh you can see that now much more 
cleaner name sku and description have a full width okay so this was just first uh, of the step the second step is for pricing and stock so what i'm going to do just copy this and i'm going to add the comma over here like this paste it over here okay and here i'm going to just change it and that's call i will call pricing and stock just save it and let's remove this and I will keep text input for price and for store as well stock save it let me go back over here and hit refresh you can see that how beautiful design is product info and then price stock if I click on next you can see that I can go next as well and I can also add the validation over here so for example if I just say required and just save it and let me go back over here hit refresh and if I click on next you can see that the field is required as well see so this is for pricing and store I'm going to do same thing for another step that's called for media and status so just like this and paste it and here I will just call media and status just save it okay and here I'm going to say like uh, we don't have to use the group so because uh, we are not uh, making the group over here so just file upload Mac and column name is image because we already taken and then I'm going to define the disk disk will be public and I'm going to also define the directory and directory will be products just save it and let me go over here and hit refresh you can see that there is a very simple and basic okay so if I go here and just add the name okay and click on next click on next you can see that there is an image upload option as well same way I'm going to use for checkbox for is active okay active and same way for is feature so I'm going to take the checkbox Mac and I will use is featured okay and just save it okay and now let me go back to the form hit refresh and just I'm adding the random name over here and click on next click on next you can see that there is is active and is featured column they have added but you can see that at the end we don't have a submit button as well and also if you want to change this design all you you mean uh, if, let me refresh it you can see that there is a one two if you want to add the icon or description then how can you add so let me go back over here and just you can add description like this like fill all the fields okay just uh, dummy text i'm going to add and hit refresh you can see that fill all the fields over here so that's make a more uh, beautiful so let me go here and copy and paste and i'm going to use for all so just fill price and stock okay just I'm going to do that price and stock okay same way fill media and status just save it let me go back and hit refresh you can see that now much more better okay if you want instead of one two three if you want to add the icon you can also use the icon so there is icon method and you can use heroic icon I'm going to use any one for now just for demo just save it if I go here and hit refresh you can see over here so that means that is working perfectly fine okay now I'm going to make it comment okay and just refresh it and now if I click over here and click on next you can see the name field is required but if you want to add the skippable option then also you can give using the skippable method skippable and just save it and if I hit refresh and now if I go and click on next you can see that it is not going to check the validation so you can skip the uh, option as well you can see that now at the end we don't have a like you know submit button so what we have to do just we need to add a new method over here that's called submit action submit action and inside that i'm going to use the action mac 
save and then i need to add the label label will be just a product okay and this will be your button so i'm going to just say button method okay and then i'm going to just use the color also and color i'm going to define will be primary and at the end you just need to add the submit because this will be a submit and in when you call the submit method it will be a save the product just save it now let me go back over here hit refresh okay and just click on next next you can see that there is a save product button but you can also see over here there is a create create another so i don't think that should be over here okay so what i'm going to do just go back over here click on create product and here i'm going to add another method override the method protected function and get form actions okay and return empty array because by default they have return like create create and another and cancel button if i hit refresh you can see that now we overwrite the method and it goes away okay so now what i'm going to do over here is just let me create like a, let me just move this my face up so it's not going to help so you can see that like a product one sku i'm going to just 001 and demo test i'm going to just say and click on next you can see the pricing i'm going to make it 100 and stock i have a 3000 click on next and i'm going to upload the image so just i'm going to get any one image like this and you can see that image upload and make it save and click on save you can see that product is created now let me go to my table plus and go to the products hit refresh you can see over here that's the product created with product name sku and demo so that means this is very simple and basic way you can create it and now let me go back to the products you can see that right now we don't have any listing so let me go back over here and go to the tables and here i'm going to just say text column for the name sku and then price also i'm going to add then also i'm going to add the stock save it and let me go back over here hit refresh you can see that sku price and stock over there okay with the view button now i am going to add image as well so just i will use the image image colon 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 mac our column name i will pass and then i will define the disk as well save and let me go back over here and hit refresh you can see that image is also created so this was very basic and uh, simple example how easily you can create the uh, like a step by step form and you can use with the filament php if you like this video then share with your friends and don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel for more videos see you in the next video guys